Yeah, I mean, what I would say, I mean, I wouldn't be where I am without Lily and um, or if you'd personally asked me at the time, I wouldn't have dated Lily if it weren't for Lily. She's such a, she's such a strong woman. And I don't know what he's doing in Kenya, though. Today, I present to you one of the famous African YouTubers married to a Korean lady. Guess who he is? I am Maya. <laughs> James, good to see you in Nairobi, man. Like, I am Maya. I am one of my. <laughs> Mr. Ghana, baby. I am I'm honored. <laughs> no, come oh, on. It's a great honor, no, no. man. It's a great honor yeah, to meet you, for real. Mr. Ghana, baby. Because, no, come on. When I started watching you, you had 50,000 subscribers. And I had like only 200 subscribers. So it's an honor to meet nah, you. Nah, nah. So let me know, let me know. Let's, let's get real. Then, who is James, man? James is James. <laughs> no, I, I want to I wanna know the James of Lily Pet House. Who is James of Lily Pet House? James of Lily Pet House is just that guy who supports Lily to make her convey her message out there to the world. Are you trying to say you're not a YouTuber? Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not a YouTuber as such, but I, I guess if the support crew is considered being a YouTuber, then I guess I am a YouTuber. James, like, I've been following you for years now, and I realized that you speak Chinese, mm -hmm. you lived in China before. Yeah. What took you to China? Though? I went to China for school. For schools, in which yeah. city did you live in China? That was in Beijing. Beijing. Mm -hmm. So how long did you live in China? Uh, about three years. And how come Lily came into the scene? Because Lily is from Korea, so how come Lily came into the scene? Yeah, I met Lily in Korea and then we got, after we were all married and then we moved to China. She got, yeah, she had her work center to China and I went to China for school. You met Lily in Korea? Yeah, I met in South Korea. Can you tell us how you met Lily though? Just some few minutes, you can, you can tell us how you met Lily. It's actually in a vlog. She's written about this and uh, yeah, yeah, if uh, if you go to Lily Petals World, there's uh -huh. a vlog that talks about how we met. But in short, yeah, we, we, we both used to work at the same place. Same place. Yeah, so we met at work. Are you, are you um, attracted to, like, how do you call it, Asian women or black women now? I mean, now my wife is Asian, so I'm attracted to her. But before, I would say I was attracted to any decent human being. Okay. I, there's some kind of questions that I get, like, especially those of us uh, like black dudes doing videos about Asia with Asian women. I get a lot of comments about people telling me that why are you dating a Chinese girl? Do you read comments like that on your channel or something? Yeah, Lily, uh, yeah, once in a while, I mean, she, um, yeah, you see people like that. But that's just what it is. I mean, people are people, and uh, hey, my wife is Asian, and so, man, I'm so into her, and yeah, she's Asian, and I don't regret it a single bit. But um, the fact that we both came together is not because you know I was pursuing an Asia girl or somebody from Southeast Asia. It's just that at that point in my life, she happens to be the person I met and I bonded with that type of way. So yeah, we ended up finding you know a great thing together that we are working, we are building on. So I want I want to say something for me. Can you be a Pan African and still date like someone who is not African or something? If you want to say something about being a Pan-African, but you don't date someone from your own race or something, is there anything you want to say about it? Can I, so, can I be a Pan-African and yeah, still... still date someone out of your race? Yes. I, 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 I don't see how Pan-Africanism, you know, relates to a relationship. I mean, for me, Pan-Africanism is just Africa finding itself as, a, as Africa. Okay. And it's just the same as Asians, uh, Pan Asians, if so called, you know, the Western, uh, Pan, you know, Westerners. You know, you still have the values of who you were and what builds James or what am I as a person. But that does not really, you know, get in the way of you, you know, being in a relationship across board like that. Those values, you still hold to your core values, but love brings you together. Okay. Yeah. James, like, uh, I also want to know, like, being. A Kenyan married to a Korean lady. 
what was the experience like um, back in Korea? How was it like? Like, how do people see? Because I've never lived in Korea before. If you talk about China life, I'll tell you more. But you married Lily back in Korea, so how was it like? I mean, at the time, you know, it's it, it's um, it, it's a different experience. I mean, you have to deal with you know, at the time, at that point in time. I mean, now I'm just, I'm just. I don't. It just doesn't even occur to me. Like if 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 it occurred to other people, it fascinates me. I'm like, w w what what's going on? But at the time, I mean, it was more. It, it was it was really difficult, you know, like to be able to be looked, you know, some type of way, or your relationship to be special amongst other relationships. So that was a that was a, a hard um, t a pill to swallow at the time. But you know, as love builds on, you know, as you get to know, I mean, for me, it was more about getting to know the people. You know, it was more about, okay, why, why do these people stare? Or why do these people act the way they are? And I think having lived there, you know, I knew more about the people than they knew about themselves. So to me, it came in easy because after learning and knowing about the people, it, it just didn't matter to me at all, but it, it, it's, it's pretty difficult, especially if you don't really know the culture you're getting into. Mm. So I, I understand them in a different perspective. It's, it's more, to me, it doesn't really come out as a racial issue as much right now than it used to before. It just comes out, uh, to me, I see it more of lack of exposure because for every stairs you get, not everybody is judging you like, oh, it's a different race. It's more like, oh, maybe, you know, it's it's a cool thing, or oh, how is it possible, or how can they interact, or how do they communicate, and oh, and some other people might be racially motivated, you know, when they when they look at you. So for me, it's always been a part. I mean, for most people I've talked to, I've always. It, I've come to a conclusion like it's just lack of exposure. exposure. Yeah. Now you move from Korea mm -hmm. to the United States. Yeah. Will you tell me like which place do will you love to stay for the rest of your life? You want to say Korea or move back to Kenya? I mean, if 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 I had to choose a place that I want to stay, it's definitely right here in Kenya. I am mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's always it's a, it's a, home is always the best. Oh. But um, you know, yeah. just it, it's just. But, and I actually, it's not, if I had to choose, if I had to look, then I'd, I'd come back home in Kenya. Home. But uh, now it, it, it's not gotten a play, I've gotten to a place in life that it's not about who I'm dating it, or who I'm with. It's all about how can I provide for my family that if I'm happy first, the haters will always be happy or they'll always hate. So it just doesn't really matter for me. Like my stability, uh, economically to provide for my family is the major factor that determines where I stay. Wow. Yeah. This is really amazing, James. Like, I just, you know, Lily was telling me that, hey, try to get James before you go out to China. <laughs> Lily, I'm with James. Like, I want to give you some time, just one minute, say something about Lily. Yeah, I mean, what I would say, I mean, I wouldn't be where I am without Lily and, uh, or, if you personally ask me at the time, I wouldn't have dated Lily if it weren't for Lily. She's such a, she's such a strong woman. And I feel like in the infancy of our relationship, she was the main driving factor. Because, I mean, she knew how I felt. I equally felt the same way, but I just didn't have the strength. But uh, she's such a strong, incredible person, incredible human being. And um, I mean, right now, I can totally say, like, where I'm at is all because of her. Because if it weren't for her strength, then we wouldn't be where we are. And for that, you know, she's always given me strength. And now I'm happy to give her that strength back after seeing, you know, getting that energy from her. And I just say, I love you, baby. It's, she's amazing. James, that was, that was really touching. I, I guess Lily is crying right now. And before I let you go, I know most of my subscribers are your subscribers. I know a lot of guys are watching you because I remember there was a time someone told me that, please try and meet Lily Petters. And if it, even if I comment on your channel, mm -hmm. almost most of your subscribers, I can't believe what am I is here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I want you to talk something to people who have been watching you, any message before I let you go. I admire, man. If uh, I mean, I watch Watermire too, and I just love. I think one thing that draws me to your channel is uh, the message is all the same, but I just love the way you deliver, you know, messages to your channel. 
you know, to your audience. And I feel like that's a really powerful thing, especially coming from a YouTuber from the continent of Africa. I think it's um, you, you're doing a great job, and um, I just want to say, you know, keep doing what you're doing. And I think that's why we as Lily Petals, well, we like you, even though the delivery might be different. Mm -hmm but it's all for the same cause and I think it's a beautiful thing that you do and that's why I'm glued to your channel, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man, and it was a pleasure, you know. No, no, it's always a pleasure. I am Maya, downtown <laughs> Kenya. Yeah. But Kenya is awesome. We know? are converting him to being a Kenyan, yeah, man. I'll, I'll, no, I'm all Kenyan the patriotic right flag, I'm yeah. I'm Kenyan right now. <laughs> Good to see you, man. It's good to see Good to see you, man. <laughs>